Welcome back crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Al YouTube channel and like you can see here in the middle of the envelope, I have received some happy mail. A few weeks ago, one of my subscribers, Jerry, contacted me to see if I would like to do a pocket letter swap. Since it had been a while since I had done one, I was like, yes, let's do it. I received her package earlier this week, but when I do a swap, I really don't like to open up the incoming package if I have not yet sent mine out. And there's two reasons for this. First of all, I want to make sure that I have my end of the deal done before I open the incoming. And second, I won't really be like influenced by the style or the theme of the incoming pocket letter. We didn't go with a theme on this. We said, let's just do what we like to do. I will be sharing the pocket letter that I made for Jerry later when I know that she has for sure gotten mine. And when I do post that, I will link that video below so you can go see what I had sent her. I have already opened the end of it. Let's see what's inside. I can already see that there are lots of extra goodies. Hopefully Jerry is not disappointed by the little goodies I sent with her pocket letter. Let's go ahead and take a look at these. So these are some fun, just like kind of pearlescent flat back gems. Those will come in really handy. They're nice and flat, which would be great for pocket letters and cards. Here we have ooh, a nice assortment of just some fun handmade embellishments. Super cute. I'll lay them out here just so you can kind of see them. Look at all those cute embellishments. I love all of the layering on these. That is not one of my strong suits, layering different papers and shapes. These are so cute. And I love the colors, they're so summery. Thank you so much, Jerry. Here we have some beach theme stickers. I am actually working on a cruise scrapbook for my mom. She took um, my family on a little cruise vacation over last Thanksgiving. These will help me finish that up. Thank you so much. These also will come in handy for that album. Some very cool palm trees and little blue waves made out of gems. Those are great. Thank you so much, Jerry. Here is my note, and like I always say, what is a pocket letter without a letter? So I'm going to open that and read it off camera. I can share the back of this with you. So um, some things that we have in common on the front, she mentioned that she works in the education field, so do I. Her favorite candy is white chocolate. I also love white chocolate. Um, favorite drink, mm, we do differ a little bit here, Jerry. I can't live without my Diet Coke, and if a restaurant has Diet Pepsi, I usually just drink water. Okay, some of her favorite scrapbook supplies are Cardabelle and Echo Park. Definitely with you on the Echo Park. I love to use those papers. Thank you so much. That was a nice little note. Let's open the pocket letter. I already see some of those bright, pretty colors and the theme from the embellishments. Oh my goodness. Let's just take a minute and look at this. try to take it all in here. Oh my goodness. Jerry, this is so adorable. Okay, let's start up here at the top. We definitely have a bright summer flamingo theme going on. Um, up here we have some fun silver foil fringe. That is so neat. I've never thought about doing that. A pretty little orange flower. And then a lady after my own heart. We have shaker pockets and inside are tons of fun 
just summery shapes, sunglasses, flowers. There are parrots, palm trees. So adorable. Some are loving right there. In the middle, I've already seen a couple cute paper clips. I have never seen either one of these. We have a pineapple shape here and a light bulb. I love that. Sometimes when I have a good idea at home, um, I channel Despicable Me and go, light bulb. If you've seen that, then you know where that's coming from. If you haven't, uh, you can just think I'm crazy. So here on the left was a little pocket of goodies. Like I mentioned before, that pineapple paper clip. And then also some cutouts. Jerry, you'll have to let me know if this was a paper pad that you used for all this. This is cute. Oh, and then look at those, some fun stamped images for me to use. Thank you so much. Oh, can I just to point out, while I'm slipping that in there, this totally adorable tassel. I still have never done anything like this on my pocket letters, but I need to. And then I also love how she sent me a sample of some twine on a little floss, like a plastic floss holder. That is so adorable. And I could have used this twine when I wrapped up her pocket letter because this pink would have totally matched better. But I had a lighter pink, so I made do with what I had. That will come in very handy, thank you. In the middle, there is a wooden Polaroid frame and some flip-flop accents on the front of the pocket. Over on the right, again, is that light bulb paper clip, and it says the bright side. Oh, and I just noticed here the pocket that had the little goodies in it. It says good stuff. Very cute. And then here is like kind of, it kind of reminds me of like a ribbon if you won something here. Very cute. Along the bottom, lots of pineapples, flamingos. So adorable. Wow, Jerry, I am so thrilled with everything. This was an adorable pocket letter. And like I wrote in my letter to you, I had almost forgotten how much I enjoyed doing pocket letters. It had been so long and I really had a good time on this swap. Thank you so much for suggesting it. If you are still watching and you enjoyed this little video, I hope that you'll give me a thumbs up below. If you are a subscriber already, thank you so much for stopping by again. If you're not a subscriber and would like to know when I upload more videos, I hope you will hit that subscribe button below. I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye.